Here's how to perform routine maintenance on your Little Giant WRS Series Drainosaur Sump Pump System. Let's begin. Before starting any maintenance operations, make sure to unplug the pump. If the basin plumbing will be disturbed in any way, close all system feed water and waste valves. Plug any vent openings as necessary. The basin screen can be removed and cleaned without disassembling the entire system. To clean the basin screen, remove the four screen cover plate screws, plastic cover plate, seal ring, and screen. Clean the inlet screen using a mild detergent and water. Inspect the O-ring. If it is over-deformed, the cross-section is no longer round, it is cracked, or it is no longer soft and pliable, replace the item. Reassemble the filter, O-ring, and filter cover plate. Hand-tighten the screws and make sure not to over-tighten. To clean the entire system, first remove the basin from the system and plumbing. Remove the cord grommet. From the cover, remove the four screen cover plate screws, plastic cover plate, seal rings, and screen. To clean the basin, remove the screws from the cover. Loosen the cords to allow slack. Remove the cover. Remove the pump. Remove the pump alignment plate. Remove the O-ring. Clean the basin using a mild detergent and water. Clean the pump alignment plate. Clean all parts, including the O-ring, plastic cover plate, seal rings, and screen. Clean the basin cover. Next, pull off the pump's pressed-in screen. Remove the five base screws. Remove the plastic pump base to clean around the impeller and inside the base. Remove the O-ring from the discharge pipe and clean. Clean the pressed-in screen. Reinstall the system, starting with the pump. Inspect the O-ring. If it is over-deformed, the cross-section is no longer round, it is cracked, or it is no longer soft and pliable, replace the item. Reinstall the O-ring to the discharge pipe. Be sure the O-ring is seated properly in the groove. 
Using the base screws, reinstall the plastic pump base. Tighten screws to a torque of 10 to 15 inch pounds. Reinstall the pressed in screen. Reinstall the pump alignment plate. Be sure the pump alignment plate's mounting holes are properly aligned with the locating rib on the inside of the basin. Reinstall the O-ring to the basin. Inspect the O-ring. If it is over-deformed, the cross-section is no longer round, it is cracked, or it is no longer soft and pliable, replace the item. Reinstall the pump ensuring it sits properly on the pump alignment plate. Reinstall the basin cover, making sure the pump discharge pipe mates properly into the discharge hole in the cover. Tighten the cover screws to a torque of 18 to 20 inch pounds. Reassemble the filter, O-ring, and filter cover plate. Hand tighten the screws and make sure not to over tighten. Inspect the filter O-ring. If it is over deformed, if the cross section is no longer round, if it is cracked, or if it is no longer soft and pliable, replace the item. Reinstall the cord grommet. Finally, reinstall the basin to the system plumbing. Remove any plugs and open all valves as necessary to bring the system back into use. When complete, plug in the pump and confirm proper operation and that no leaks are present. For more information, reference your product owner's manual. Thanks for watching.